Hey everybody, it is Wednesday of Holy Week, or what some people call Passion Week, or the Passion of Christ. And I found these cool pictures I just wanted to share with you this morning. Um, and it is a picture taken from Zondervan's Cultural Study Bible. And it just kind of has a picture and a map of what was going on this this, this Passion Week of Jesus. So down here we have the city of, of the not the city, the village of Bethany, where Lazarus lived with his two sisters, Mary and Martha, Lazarus, who Jesus um, raised from the dead. And it was about two miles outside of Jerusalem, the big city. And remember, this is leading up to the Passover, which is one of the biggest festivals that the Jewish people celebrated. Here we've got the Mount of Olives. And then this is where Jesus' triumphant entry would have been, right down through here, and the temple where all the sacrifices were made for the Passover and the bustling city here of old Jerusalem. So we see um, kind of the layout of the land, but we also know that Wednesday, there's not really too much recorded in scripture about what Jesus was doing on that particular day. But we do know, know a couple things. And I just wanted to read a couple things to you from the Bible, and it kind of shows some of the scheming that was going on, because Jesus was just going about his everyday business. Um, here we have here, each day Jesus was teaching at the temple, and each evening he went out to spend the night on the hill called the Mount of Olives, and all of the people came early in the morning to hear him at the temple. And I want to jump back here to to Mark to get his take on this. And Mark says, okay, now that the Passover, the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, was only two days away, the chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some sly way to arrest Jesus and kill him. But not during the feast, they said, or the people may riot. We have this beautiful story that we shared yesterday of Jesus being anointed um, with the perfume. And then Judas Iscariot one of Jesus' twelve, one of his disciples, he went to the chief priests to betray Jesus to them. And they were delighted to hear this and promised to give him money. So he watched for an opportunity to hand him over. Now, all this was leading up to Thursday, which we called Maundy Thursday, um, and the Lord, the Lord's Supper is instituted. And we're going to get to that tomorrow. But just some thoughts for today. Um, where Jesus was still going about his father's business, teaching and preaching. And um, meanwhile, the plotting that was going on, and what they thought was going to be getting rid of Jesus, getting rid of the thorn in their flesh. But really, it was just fulfilling Jesus' purpose and why he came to earth to die on the cross and to save us from our sins. But we'll get to that story tomorrow. Have a great day.